Hi, welcome back. In this video, we want to show you how to access your child's Google Classroom using the Fleetwood Area School District supplied iPad. Once you turn on your iPad, you want to swipe through the different apps that you have. And what you're looking for is the Google Classroom app. Here's the Google Classroom app right here. I'm going to click on that. This is the welcome screen you should see. I'm going to uncheck this box that says sign up for emails about Google Classroom feature updates. I don't need that. I'm going to click get started. It's going to ask you what account you'd like to add to this. Okay. I have two saved accounts here, but I'm going to add my daughter's account. So once you get to this screen to log in, you want to put your child's email there. And then after that, you're going to put in their student ID number, which serves as their password. So again, it's going to be their Fleetwood email address. And then the next screen will be their student ID number. So you'll need those two things in order to sign in. The email address will be at student.fleetwoodasd.org. After you've entered the address, you want to hit next. You'll be prompted by another screen where you have to put it in one more time. Now you put in their password, which is their student ID number. After you put that number in there, hit sign in. At this point, if it asks you for notifications, you can say allow. Once it opens, your child's classes should show up here in this screen. Now my daughter right now is only assigned to one of my classes I set up as an example. but. If she had other teachers that are ready to put her in her classes, it would show up here into different boxes. So you should see your child's teachers either inviting them to different classrooms here. You may have to hit a button that says join to join a classroom, or your teacher might provide a code for your son or daughter to join a class. If you have a code, what you would do is you would hit plus right here. Once the screen pops up, it'll give you a prompt that says, ask your teacher for the class code, then enter it here. So your teacher will have two ways to allow your son or daughter to join the class. And what they'll do is they'll either already invite them by typing in their email themselves, in which case you'll have a, an icon for a class that will give you a button that says join, or the teacher may provide you with a class code and you type the class code in here. Once you put that code in there, you're gonna hit the word join. And then at that point, you'll have additional classes that show up in the classes screen for your son or daughter. I'm switching accounts now to my account and you'll be able to see what it looks like when you have multiple classes showing up on a screen. Okay, so now from my point of view, here are all the different classes that I'm a part of. And you can see there's quite a bit and I can see the banner for some of these classes here and that's the teacher created banner for those different classes. Okay, so you can go over here to the menu on the left hand side. When you click those three lines, you should see a list of classes that your son or daughter belongs to there where they're enrolled in those classes. And there'll be a list down here of the enrolled classes. You also have a to do list. If you click that, that'll show them upcoming assignments. Now, the one thing I want to caution you about is the to do list is not always accurate. So the best thing to do if you're wanting to see your child's classroom and see what they need to be doing is you go to the actual classroom, you click on the classroom, and then what you're going to click on is classwork. And in that classwork tab, that's where you'll see the information of what's due when. So make sure you're always going to the classwork tab within a specific classroom to find out exactly what your son or daughter needs to be working on. Don't rely on this to do tab right here because sometimes those dates aren't accurate and they only really show you what's what's due this week, they won't show you what's upcoming for the next week or the following week. So if it's a long term project that's not due for another two weeks, if you click on that, you won't see it. And it might, you might lose time in your child working on that longer term project. So again, what you want to do is you want to click on one of those classrooms that your child's a part of, and you want to always check in classwork. And then see what's due in classwork and that will give you the teacher directions. In the stream, a lot of times the teacher will put different announcements in that stream, but the classwork, again, is going to be the place where you want to go with your son or daughter 
to look at the assignments and to see what's due. Okay, that'll do it for this video. I hope that was helpful in getting you started with the Google Classroom app for the iPad. Please email me with any questions at kbollendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Have a great day.